Well, hello there. Edmilson Dover's contract is coming to an end. And apparently, KZ Chiefs are considering whether or not they should or should not sign him and extend his contract. We're also going to talk about Mandla Masango and what he has said, which some people may see as being critical of Mfundo Vinagas. But there is more to that. Now, at Milson Dover, we're going to look at the pros and cons of signing him as reported by Latuma Uguti. Case the Chiefs are looking at these pros and cons before signing him. And I also kind of remixed it and added my own things and my opinions to this. And the first one is that obviously the talks were going on, but they've been paused because there's Afcon. Understandable, we must focus on Mozambique. But now the factors that are affecting how the co the negotiations are gonna go like if we maybe ask for a ridiculous amount of money or maybe a a, a a higher wage increase the factors that are gonna affect this number one is the fact that case chiefs will not have a place for him in a way think about it right now it looks like chiefs are trusting shanti as their starter like it doesn't matter what that man does he can have the most average game but he will always start the following game so if, if you have him Ushanti, as a left back and you have the chiefs right now as reported by other publications eyeing three left backs the first one is playing for simba the second one is playing for Stellenbosch, and then the third one is playing for Amazulu. Now, I will focus on the one, Odlalele Amazulu, Uhanamub, because even if our post has reported this and they are more reputable, so I will trust them. So, it achieves wanting Uhanamub a left back, who's a foreigner, that means if he comes to case achieves, that means there must be a foreigner who will leave case achieves. And I know people will say, oh, but Gonzalez, but there are two things about Gonzalez. One, who Kevin Johnson has said he's going to work with them and try to improve them. Number two, you could always release U Gonzalez and go and get another foreign player who's going to bring quality to KZ Chiefs. We saw with Castillo, he's coming and he's brought a lot of quality to KZ Chiefs. Ditlokwe, another foreigner, loads of quality to KZ Chiefs. So I could see why they could still they could still release two players and get two more foreign players so with Hanamoop if you think about it ne? Hanamoop is not a risky signing because if you go to Simba and you sign someone from Simba he's gonna cost you more not just in terms of financially because he's playing for a very big team and making a move from Tanzania to South Africa is going to say you know what I was playing in a good league and I know that this is also a good league so I'm going to need an even better salary than what I was getting so that's costing chips number two it's risky because you bring him to South Africa and then you have a problem because he fails to adapt to our South African football and at the end of the day it becomes a flop signing he he gets called names, so it's better for Chiefs to go for a safer option, hence Hanamoop. And when it comes to Stellenbosch, going to Stellenbosch again for another player, we know the prices, prices keep on just getting higher and higher. The last signing we got from Stellenbosch, Umtetwa, was 10 million, and Ukwinika was 3 million, and if we had gotten Mendieta, it was around 10 million. So now, going to Stellenbosch again, it's clear that the, the money will like maybe around seven eight and i don't think they'll pay eight million ten million for a left back so for now i think that hana that hana Mub link is the one that might be true so if utlanti is a starter or if hana Mub is a starter and utlanti is a backup for whatever reason then that is why utove might be seen as surplus to requirements and i don't think he would want to stay chiefs if he's going to be sitting on the bench for crying out loud the man is playing for his national team and he's a very key member of the team so i don't think he would want to stay in a team if he's sitting on the bench or can he you never know and the other thing obviously that is against him is the fact that if you want to free up space for anamup or any other foreign player you could just always go for him and say we're releasing him or we're letting him go not renewing his contract for that sake the other one is the fact that if chiefs or since chiefs have kind of added more defenders like they have who look flus and they have who they have who 
and then Utitoku is currently injured. They have Umfanaga Fabian McCarthy. He's coming up, Umakate as well. And he is another center center back. So right now, Udove is playing as a makeshift center back, which for some reason is playing better than left back right now. So it's clear that when he's playing as a left back, he gets more injuries. So as a center back, he's much better. But when Utitoku comes back, he's coming back and he's taking that position, most likely. And when that happens, that means he doesn't have a place as a center back. He doesn't have a place as a left back. But also at the same time, Luke Flues will want some minutes. And also that means he's getting pushed further down the pecking order because Dover, that's not his natural position. So realistically, Dover's only option is to fight Lanty for that position and take it and not get injured. Which brings me to this question. If your case achieves, since Lanty and Dover's contract are both running out, this June, who would you rather keep? Would you rather keep Utlanti or would you rather keep Utove? Personally, I would keep Utove with everything because I feel like he gives me more energy. I feel like he's more committed. The problem is obviously these injuries that he keeps on having. Now, before we talk about other things, you know the things, you know, you know what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm about to ask. Like the video. Like the video. It's so free. Yazin mahala. Mahala, ah. like you can't watch the video for six minutes and you haven't liked it. It has. Anyways, uh, moving on to the other thing that Mandla Masango said about Fundo Villagas, and some people will say to you, will say to me, I'm Pilo Mandla Masango is Peter, whatever. He's saying that Um Fundo Villagas, since he's training with the senior team now and he's going to be playing in the calling knockout all stars what what the thing that he was voted for by the fans it's clear that fans want to see him play but one of the reasons that fans want to see him play the reason why they want to see him play is because he's good at chicken and dribbling and you know that cassie flavor football but he's saying he should still stay true to himself in terms of expressing himself with his skills on the pole but he should do so going forward Ne? And this is my take value on Kasi football and all of that. I'm not for this whole thing of Jongum to last year with Tabi, Guagonagelelu to Prashipol, Sulubu. So that does get fans excited, but it's not really doing anything except entertaining. And the score at that time is nil nil. That's not really helping anyone. Ne? And I know people are going to come for me and say, hey, Mpilo, but that's thing. Because I was watching one of the clips from the Phillies game. There's this guy who's brought on on the 82nd minute or something. They are losing. He's busy. I'm like, what is this man doing? What is wrong with him? Because you are losing instead of trying to get the ball forward and creating a cold scoring opportunity for your team. And that is where this thing is at that, yes, these things might be entertaining, but sometimes I feel like as fans, we're letting these boys down because if Mfundo Som Tandela, Ugutukwazu Kibeli, Polak Pela, and Ngabuguti and Product Tiake Yin, because Nom 2, Yawaz Gul Kibeli, Poli, Yawaz Gul Sulubu, so but the thing is, if you look at Okambel in his performance against Pirate, because that's the standout performance here so far this season, if you look at Mfuke, of Poland or Pirate, who's by the who's uh, head that he's a friend with Umtutu Shabalal. We are Shama skills, but he Ushai skill a bit chicken dot rule. He's not going to just be on top of the ball and standing still and not causing any trouble. So, my take on Kasi football or entertaining the, the masses is do that, as Mandla Masang was saying, do that, but while being forward thinking while taking the ball forward while causing uh, trouble for the other people because this thing your kibeli polar for no reason doesn't really help anyone but that's just me do you agree with mandla masang on this do let me know down in the comment section thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals and pelumoya